Hey everyone, Dylon here once again, and today I'm going to be making, hopefully, a short episode. Um, I, basically, all I did was play a little bit, or, um, play, like, through one day, or not, yeah, one game day since the last episode, and I found, oh, well, whoops, I forgot to turn the volume down. I'm starting to do that a lot. I don't remember, I don't know when I started doing that, but I've done it a lot now. Um, anyway, I'm making this suspicious looking eye to summon the Eye of Cthulhu, because um, it can happen as a random event, but it hasn't yet, and I really want to get this fight over with, so I don't have to like worry about it happening when I'm just kind of playing around. So I'm going to go ahead and make... whoops, don't throw that. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and make that, and summon him, and do the fight. It should be really easy, like even easier than the Eater of Worlds, because that fight didn't... that type fight turned out really well, and that fight is supposed to happen after. Um, this fight. So it shouldn't be very difficult. Um, it'll just be, you know, give everyone a look at the fight. Um, I think this fight's really only hard if he spawns randomly versus if you spawn him, so it shouldn't be too hard. Anyway, I'll go ahead and make this eye thing here. Um... And then I will climb back up and just... I have to wait for it to be night. That's the only, um, the only qualification of summoning him this way is that it has to be nighttime. You don't have to like hit. You don't actually have to have any gear at all if you want to summon him this way. If, if you can get the materials required for it, you can fight him. There we go. Get this stupid worm away from me. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of the corruption because that would just be um, asking for the fight to be harder than it needs to be. <laughs> so I'll run over here. I don't want to be too close to my houses either, so I'm going to like run to the other side and fight him over there. Alright, I have to climb this wonderful cliff again. I've gotten a little bit better at it though, so... Oh right, um, also my guide? My guide's name is Dylan. That's pretty ironic. I'll let you guess why. Cough. My YouTube name is Dylon. <laughs> Okay, I just have to get to a good area. I'm gonna say... Whoops, this isn't a good area. Uh, perhaps right past this. Maybe right, right over here. This should be a pretty good area, I think. Right up here, on top of this cliff. It's kind of flat. It gives me some room to maneuver. Yeah, I'm liking this area. I'll just stand right here. And I have to wait for it to be night. If I press it when it's not night... I think nothing happens. There we go. Okay, nothing happens. I was really worried that it was going to consume uh, my suspicious looking eye and just do nothing. Anyway, for this fight, I'm going to use the Ruthless Musket. Or, it's just a musket. Ruthless is the... Yeah, Ruthless is the modifier on it. It has extra damage. So hopefully, I'll kill him pretty fast. That would be the idea anyway. <laughs> Let it be night time. I wish to commence this fight. I think you have to wait until the moon is peeking out on this side. Oh, you! Oh, wow! <laughs> you feel an evil presence watching you. Okay, so he just randomly spawned, I think. Or he will randomly spawn. Pretty soon. Yeah, 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 that's not the spawn message. That's the message he will spawn if you don't hide underground. So as long as I don't hide underground, I should get to do this fight right now. Oh, hey, another lens. <laughs> Okay, I don't I don't know how long it'll take though for the for him to spawn. I could just spawn him with my suspicious looking eye, but I don't really need to. If he's gonna randomly spawn, that would be perfectly okay with me. I guess I'll give him a, a minute or two. I I will just use the eye if the random event doesn't happen. But I'd rather save my materials and fight him again later or something. Make some money. Come on. Any day now you can spawn, bro. I'm ready for you. <clears throat> okay, I'll give him one more minute. <laughs> Come on, I'm ready to fight you. Fight me. Maybe I have to move around. I don't, need, I don't know. There we go. I've Cthulhu has awoken. And he should be... There he is. He's right over here. 
So he shoots out these mini demon eyes, and they are really, really annoying. They're probably the hardest part of the fight. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully I'll hit a couple of them as I'm shooting at him. So anyway, he has 2,800 health, but he takes a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, this fight's a little too easy at this point. Anyway, since this gun's shooting really slow, I'm just going to go ahead and pull out the sword and deal with these kids. And then I will continue shooting him with my musket. He does a little bit, or no, he doesn't do more damage than the other boss. Um, I'm taking more damage because I don't have an iron skin potion. That's right. Anyway, I'm going to pull out my sword. If he's going to be flying this close to me, then I'm going to take advantage of it. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. So maybe this fight's easier with the phase blade. Apparently everything is easier with the phase blade. Um, he's at 1600 health, so I'm doing fairly well. 1200... Yeah, or no, 1400 is halfway, so... Pretty soon, I'll hit him down to half. Anyway, when I hit him down to half, or like right here, he's gonna start spinning, and he'll become second form, which does more damage. Yeah, I'm taking 16 damage from him now, which means I need to actually get out my musket and just start shooting him and trying to kite him around more. Oh, don't jump at me. There we go. Oh, I let him hit me twice. So secretly, that was a bad idea. But anyway, he's dropping pretty quickly. Oops, I took another hit. I took another hit. I'm the best. There we go. I'll just heal up. No big deal. I brought healing potions. Apparently this fight is harder than the other fight. Especially when I'm trapped underground and taking a lot of free hits from him. Okay. I don't know which method is actually better at fighting him. I guess I'll just take the damage and hit him for more. There we go. I hit him for a lot, so... Pull out my musket again. Jeez, I wish this thing shot faster, though. It shoots really slow. Okay, he's down to 100. And there we go. He's dead. And he gave me 68 demonite ore. Yeah, he gave me... Where's that ore? There we go. 68 demonite ore. Um, and some... That's actually a, pretty much all he gives. He gives some unholy arrows and, like, one... I think the one vial mushroom was actually where I shot the grass. So, that's really all he gives. It's not too much. It's a lot less than the Eater of Worlds, for sure. And that boss fight is apparently a little bit easier. So, I would definitely suggest doing uh, the Eater of Worlds over this fight. This fight's really annoying. <laughs> well, I think it was just the location I chose. It wasn't actually as good as I thought it was. Because I got trapped down here a few and took, like, lots of free hits. But anyway, that's um, a look at that fight. It's not extremely difficult either, like the other one. Um, that's pretty much all I have for this episode. So again, sorry for the short episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, like this video if you did, and good luck if you want to take on the Eye of Cthulhu. And so basically, I was going to summon him with the suspicious looking eye, which is one way of doing it, but he randomly spawned because my gear was a high level, which is the other way of having him spawn. So you guys got to look at both of them. Anyway, um, uh, yes, I already said this. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you next time.